Hello everyone, it's Tensei here, and today we'll be playing Slifele Sky Dragon against Unions using the new Union Combination skill from the Battle City box. I think Unions are actually a fairly promising deck for the new format, so this will be a good test for how our deck performs. Anyway, let's start the duel then, so we lose the die roll, which is really unfortunate, since this deck really needs to go first to set up the board properly. But it's okay, we probably won't die too soon anyway. Anyway, our opening hand here is Book of Moon, Worm Bait, Nobleman Crossout and Quantum Cat. So we have the combo to make Quantum Cat um, any attribute insect and then use Worm Bait on our turn, create two more additional attributes. But we still need to draw into Slifer. Opponent opens with White Dragon Head added with Union Hanger and then Union Hanger equips Z and now the White Dragon has becomes 2100 actually which is pretty big for a normal summon and it's also protected by destruction. Uh, we drew into Swamp Mirror and that's not very optimal, we don't have combo still but with Quantum Cat we should be able to survive a little while. So uh, we set Book of Moon and Quantum Cat. So. Uh, um, this is fairly okay. We can block the Book of Moon, use the Book of Moon to block his attack, so we should not die this turn. He summons X Head Cannon, which is uh, now a way to make the. Uh, well, he could have made Dragon Buster, but he actually makes X Z Tank Cannon first to force our back row out, which is smart if we have st something like. Uh, offering the doomed, he wouldn't waste so many resources. Uh, yeah, he tries to normal summon a second monster, which is of course. Yeah, he takes that back. We quite catch it soon. Um, here, I should have used the Quantum Cat to block the damage. Uh, I had no reason to take the damage, and if he had something like offerings or cosmic, he could have used it in the end phase anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah, here we get the next. Draw. We actually drew in the Slife of the Sky Dragon, which is cool. We now get to use our Insect Quantum Cat and Worm Bait to create the three tributes needed for Slifer. Uh, summon Slifer, Noble of Crossout pops the XC Tank Cannon we set before. Uh, set Swamp Mirror and then use our skill. So Fury of Thunder lets you draw until you have 4 cards in your hand as long as you control Life of the Sky Dragon. So getting 4 new draws is really good here. Unfortunately we drew into 2nd Life of the Sky Dragon which is not very useful for us actually. And we have to set the Swamp Mirror and try to push for a game next turn with that. This unfortunately decreases the attack of Slifer. But it's still 3000 and will decrease any monster that's summoned in attack on their field. Unfortunately, this deck actually has a fairly decent out to it, since if you summon something in defense, Slifer won't decrease the attack and won't be able to destroy it. Uh, anyway, they activate new Union Hammer, which is really unfortunate. They have a White Dragon Head in grave right now, but now they get a second one, which means they'll be more easily able to set up for uh, the XYZ Dragon Cannon. Anyway, they set the White Dragon Head and Union Scramble and this is actually really rough for us since it can summon everything in defense. Slifer won't be able to touch the things he summons with them and then he'll be able to also make the XYZ Dragon Cannon. Uh, the Cosmic Cyclone could be used here but I figure that Union Scramble is probably the trap he has, either that or Rare Metal Morph and using Cyclone on either of those is really pointless, so we just keep it in hand to make Slifer bigger. Uh, here we use Swamp Mirror to get a direct attack. Uh, yeah, we don't declare it, but it's basically a Divine Insect as every, every time. Uh, the first attack goes through, but then the second attack is unfortunately intercepted by Union Scramble. So here he summons all uh, yeah, X and Z back, but that means he'll survive, and now he has 
all the copies of the pieces in hand as well as the knight assailant setup. So banishes all three with union combination to make a light machine fusion monster, XYZ dragon cannon discards knight assailant and pop slifer and then these two will loop and destroy all the swarm mirrors as well. So now we have a very suboptimal hand and he can destroy every card that he wants to. Uh, yeah, he sets the white dragon head, but yeah, I'll just lose next turn. He can use the dragon cannon. Uh, but we actually sided in something against him. Yeah, we don't draw it in the opening hand, but we ha all have all the three combo pieces. Uh, the combo is not too hard since we have six of the trap monsters, so getting that first piece is easy. And then three worm bait and three slifer. So the combo is actually fairly consistent. But the problem is that the slifer will be easily out of We actually, yeah, here we drew into the defusion, which will be useful to out the XYZ dragon cannon. Unfortunately, the opponent can use the XYZ dragon cannon effect before we have a chance to use defusion, because skills give you that priority. Uh, Cyclone will banish the metal tank, which is nice, it's making it harder for them to make the XYZ Dragon Cannon. Uh, we only make Slide for 2000, but it should be fine since it decreases everything's attack by 2000. And he won't be summoning anything more than 4000 anyway. His strongest monster should be XYZ Dragon Cannon. Uh, so we have Defusion and Nobleman. Union Hunger will unfortunately give him the New Z Metal Tank, which is not really what we wanted, but he plays 3 Hunger, it's kinda easy to see those. Uh, gets the Z Metal Tank, as expected, sets monster. But here we luckily have the Nobleman, and the second effect of Nobleman will make him discard all the cop banish all the copies of Night Assailant from his deck. So now we got rid of the infinite resource loop that makes him destroy all of our field with XYZ Dragon Cannon and we can also get in for 2000 direct damage with a mysterious card face down to make it easier to out something that he summons maybe. Uh, summons the metal tank, it gets in instantly destroyed by Slifer's effect but unfortunately this also means that he has white dragon head and the metal tank. So here he can summon why is that tank dragon in defense mode to protect us on the next turn. Uh, protect him on the next turn as well as outing the mysterious guard. So that means we can't just return it to his extra deck on our turn. Um, we could set the trap monsters but that means lifer becomes too weak to out the YZ Tank Dragon, and I have the feeling that he also has the Union Scramble, this uh, Scramble setup here. So using Defusion on his Fusion now would be pretty wasteful. Yeah, I think for a while about setting these cards, but it's just not worth it. End phase he flips the Scramble, as I expected, summons both monsters in defense, so Slifer can't touch them. Yeah, uh, th all three monsters. So now he has two names. For the Dragon Cannon, um, yeah, equips. Uh, this is a cool card. Iron Draw. If you control exactly two machine effect monsters, you can draw two cards, and then he can only special summon once. But the one special summon of X Head Cannon is all he needs, as long as he has the copy of X set up. Yeah, that's yeah, that's in the grave. Uh, yeah, summons X Y Z Dragon Cannon. In it. Uh, defense mode, so it won't lose any attack. Uh, luckily, he actually targets defusion first, which means we can just use defusion to return the XYZ Dragon Cannon back to his extra deck. And since its fusion materials are banished, it won't be ever able to summon them when targeted by defusion. Uh, this means he'll yeah, set one monster and one back row. Uh, we get the Mysterious Guard for next turn, 2k Slifer is all we need, and the Swamp Mirror should help us attack for game next turn. Um, 
unfortunately. Unfortunately, he does have all the materials again, and we don't have the defusion this time. Uh, this means that he uses the XYZ Dragon Cannon effect, discards Foolish, pops Guard, discards another card, discard, destroys Lifer, and we have almost no resources. Nobleman is useless against that XYZ Dragon Cannon. Yeah, Banish Scramble at back X Head Cannon for resources. His turn can pop our both set cards with the Dragon Cannon. We could have set Nobleman of Cross off, but then we'll have only Slifer in hand. He ha have the XYZ Dragon Cannon, so surviving one extra turn would not change the course of the game, unfortunately. And he has the Scramble. Yeah. I forgot he has the scramble, so we could just attack with the uh, monster summons with that. Even if we had the extra quantum cat live on the field. Uh, anyway, um, that's it for the uh, replay we had. Unfortunately, we lost both games. Um, the idea was to show how this deck works, but also it's not really equipped to battle the meta unless you draw really well or they for some reason do not draw that well um, so for the deck profile we have three copies of slice for the slice for the sky dragon okay now the skill can actually shuff shuffle it back once it's destroyed but we need to play three copies to make sure you draw the first one as soon as possible then we have two mysterious guards as our only other actual monster. It's just here to like uh, mainly out Chinzo, since if you play against spellproof armor, you won't be able to use Swamp Mirror and Quantum Cat under Chinzo. So we have to have some kinds of outs for it. And with spellproof armor, even the Book of Moon won't be able to touch the machine, so it's um, it's almost an unplayable matchup, honestly, for this deck. Next up for spells we have 3 worm bait as our main tribute engine. Um, yeah, you can't normal or special summon level 3 or 4 monsters this turn if you use this card. So make sure to use the trap monsters on your opponent's end phase. So that way this restriction won't be able to uh, nullify your place. Uh, 2 cosmic cyclone for stuff like book of moon, offerings. It's fairly easy to draw with this lifer skill as well. Uh, also stops. Uh, Zoma or something that would be lethal easily against Slifer. Uh, two Books of Moon, it can protect Slifer from offerings as well as um, stall and defend against your opponent for a while, or even recent the Mysterious Guard. Uh, it's a very versatile card. Uh, Nobleman of Crossout, lots of opponents will be playing defense monsters like Neither Sailand, New Doria, even Mysterious Guard, or just stalling against Slifer until they draw the out. Um, two noblemen should be enough, we can draw it with Thunder Fury. Uh, and of course the three Swamp Mirror and three Quantum Cat to special summon an insect on your side of the field. Uh, these also have pretty good stats like 1800 and 2200 defense. So Quantum Cat will be able to block basically any normal summon. And Swamp Mirror uh, will also be able to go against most normal summons people would play except for like Wars Raider or Charging Gaia. Um, yeah for the side deck we have 2D Fusion. This is of course for the Union matchup mostly. I guess it could matter against some weird other matchup but yeah mostly for the XYZs. Uh, one widespread Union. This is um, kinda an out for some more Beater heavy decks where Cosmic Cyclone is not that useful and it will also not be that expected uh, if your opponent just sees you play lots of trap monsters so they might not see this coming. And the three Santa Claus just to tribute Chinzo reliably against the spellproof armor matchup. They'll get to draw one card, maybe tribute this for another Chinzo, but you don't have much choice. You need to be able to play the game against that deck. The extra deck is 6 different Waking the Dragon targets just to bluff your opponent that you might play Waking. And of course our skill Fury of Thunder that lets you reveal your hand and recycle Slifer. Uh, anyway, 
That's it for this deck profile. I kind of wish this was better and maybe I'm missing something. Um, some secret way to make this actually be able to go against the meta. But right now, uh, it's a fun deck. I think it's like kind of consistent to summon Slifer actually. Yeah. And you might be able to stall under Quantum Cat for a while. But the problem isn't summoning Slifer, it's that you can use so many different outs for it. Like uh, Inner Conflict completely wrecks this deck, you have no protection against Inner Conflict. And worst case, they summon Chinzo with the Inner Conflict, which shuts down your trap monsters as well. And um, yeah, Twisted Personality destroys Slifer. Magnet Warriors can return Slifer to hand. It's, it's really rough. But I think this is a very good way to go if your aim is to summon Slifer the Sky Dragon. And I know lots of people just want to use the guard cards for the sake of it. Anyway, I think this is it for this time. Um, I've been trying to be more active with my content and I've been building a lot of decks for this new format. Anyway, um, I hope you guys like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more uh, content like this in the future. Uh, also comment if you have any suggestions or questions about the build or gameplay. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye.